Close your eyes, focus on your breath. And don't let your mind go wandering off into thoughts of the past or the future. Try to stay right here in the present moment. And get the mind concentrated here in the present moment. It's called heightening the mind. I mean, you lift your mind up above the concerns of the world. You let the mind look after itself, take care of itself, heal itself. This principle of heightening the mind is one of the principles that the Buddha gave in that sermon that we're recognizing today. Today is Makapucha, the full moon in the month of Maka. It was on this occasion that in the first year of his teaching career, the Buddha had a meeting, a spontaneous meeting of 1,250 of his Arhat disciples before he sent them out to teach. He gave them a brief review of the important principles of his teachings, and one of them was just this, being devoted to the heightened mind, teaching people not to let their minds have to wander around the, and after the world. Because what does the world do? The world spins around, and your mind follows the world around, you start spinning too. And after a while you don't know what's up or down. We go running after wealth, but then we also meet up with lack of wealth. And even when we do meet with wealth, there's trouble. We run after status. We meet up either with status or with loss of status, and there's trouble there too. The same with criticism and praise, pleasure and pain. We run after these things, and yet well, they don't really lead us to any true happiness. They just lead us to spin around. So the Buddha says to lift your mind up above the concerns of the world. Have it, Make it one right here in the present moment where it can be independent. It doesn't have to be a slave to those things. So think about this in the course of the day. As you go running after things, what are you a slave to? Are you a slave to your greed, aversion, and delusion? Or are you going to try to free the mind from that slavery? We make the choice every time we choose to follow something or to let it go. So if you're going to follow something, make sure you're following the good things. Otherwise, you're like those insects in Thailand. They walk in long chains as one insect doesn't know where it's going, but another one latches on behind it and follows the first one, thinking that the first one knows where it's going, and then there's a whole long chain of them. They don't want to know where they're going. That's the way it is with most of the world. People are running around. You see other people looking for happiness and wealth and status, and you say, well, this must be where it is, and you go following them around. It doesn't go anywhere at all. Follow the Buddha, at least, and lift your mind up above the world. That way you find true freedom, you find true happiness, something really is dependable and really solid.